the main reason why it's so hard to let go is because we think that it should have gone a different way than it did. Today, what we're going to be talking about is how to move on, let go of the past and leave the past in the past so that it doesn't keep coming up and rearing its ugly head and holding you back from the future that you truly want and you truly, more than all honesty, deserve. So uh, the thing that I want to say about this is something that's very obvious to every single person. You can do nothing about the past. You know that. I know that. There's absolutely nothing that you can do about the past. So why? Why, why, why do you and I and every other person still allow the past to come up and rear its ugly head every once in a while? Because no matter how hard you try, you could try as hard as you possibly want every single minute of the rest of your life, you will not be able to change your past. So why is it so hard to let go? The main reason why it's so hard to let go is because we think that it should have gone a different way than it did. Whatever it was, whether it was that relationship that happened to you in the past, whether it was a massive mistake that you think that you might have made with uh, something that happened in your past, whether it was you wish that an event would have not gone this way because it went that way, and you wish that something would be different. You wish that it would have gone differently than it did, but guess what? It went the way that it went. So why do we continue to hold on to the past and hold on to what happened, wishing that it would have been different? Why do we allow ourselves to cheat on our future with our past? Because nothing, no matter how hard you try, will ever be able to allow you to go back in time at this point in time with our current technology that I know of, you can't go back in time and change anything. So why would you cheat on your future with your past? And here's the thing. There's a lot of things that happen to us in our lives. There's a lot of bad moments that some of us have had. People that have died, relationships that we've lost, money that we've lost. Uh, we've treated people incorrectly. And we wish that things would have gone differently. But we can't change them, as I just said. So what do we do? We need to learn how to be okay with allowing the past to have happened and to go forward in the future. We can learn from what happened in the past so that we can go ahead and we can figure out a way to make it better. It's like the, the way I like to think of it is this, is the reason why you have to have mistakes in your past is so that you can learn from your mistakes, we've all heard that, and not make them in the future. How does a baby learn to walk? A baby learns to walk by falling and falling and falling and falling and falling to learn how to stop falling. You can't learn to walk unless you've fallen a bunch of times. You can't become the person that you want to be unless you've gone through and been the person that you don't want to be. Make sense? So uh, as hard as the things are, the tough things that have happened to us in our past, the deaths, the breakups, all of those things, when you're going through them, let's be honest, they all suck. Nobody wants to go through those things. But as you're going through them, it's really hard. But now that you might be a year or two or three or five years removed from them, you look at them and go, you know what? That made me who I am. Had that one event never happened, I wouldn't be the person I am. I wouldn't be as strong as I am. I wouldn't be as mentally strong as I am. I wouldn't be able to accomplish what I've been accomplishing from what I've learned from that. And I always ask people to do this. And that, that is to think about the hardest time in your entire life. Just think about it for a second. Go back to those feelings. It's not fun as you're going through them. But I bet if I were to say, would you want to change it right now? Most people would say no. And the reason why is because you learned from whatever it was and it made you who you are. Like if I take the worst time in my life, the worst moment of my life was my father passed away when I was 15. My father was an alcoholic. He passed away when I was 15 from alcoholism. And it was what I always say, the worst day of my life but it was also the best day of my life. And the reason why it was the best day of my life was because number one, that was the very first person that I ever knew that passed away. And from that moment on, it was like a switch flicked in my head and I went, I'm gonna die. That means that I need to do everything that I can to make as much as I can out of this life. I would not be the person I am had that not happened. I would not have accomplished the things had that not happened. It was hard, but it made me stronger. I bet the hardest moment of your life 
was really hard as well. You wouldn't want to go through it again, but you wouldn't replace it for the world. It made you stronger. The same way that if you go to a gym, if you go in and you lift really heavy weight and really heavy weight, the only way for that muscle to grow is to put it under intense physical strain to the point where it literally makes micro tears inside of the muscle. And at that point in time, the muscle will then be sore for a few days, but it will come back and grow stronger. That's exactly the way that you have to realize the past is for you. It will not be able to change. You got to let go of the freaking past already, but you got to realize it happened to me for a reason. A muscle grows when it is put under intense strain. You grow when you are put under intense strain. I have a question for you. If you were going to go run a marathon, let's say you're going to go run a marathon. It's your first marathon. You've been training for a really long time. You're ready to run these, uh, what is it? 26.2 miles, I think. I don't know. I've never ran a marathon. I hate running. But let's just say, I think it's 26.2 miles, somewhere around there. I could be right. I could be wrong. And right before you're about to start, out of the side, someone that you know comes up and says, here, I got you something. Go ahead and put this on. And it's a 50 pound backpack. Would you want to run that marathon with that 50 pound backpack? I mean, I don't think you would. I know I wouldn't want to. I don't want to run it in the first place. Why would I want to run it with a 50 pound back, uh, backpack on my back? Why would you not want to run that? Answer it. Because it's going to be harder to run the marathon, right? Holding on to your past is like holding a backpack on your back. And then every time you get something that you're holding on to, it's just another 10 pounds. It's another 10 pounds. It's another 10 pounds. What would make your life easier is to just drop the backpack, right? What would make your life easier is just to drop the past. I know in theory, this is easy. It makes a whole lot of sense. But how do you actually do it? You've actually got to process and allow your thoughts and your brain to go, you know what? It is worthless. Your brain does not want to hold on to something that doesn't give it anything. Like your brain is extremely, extremely smart and extremely, extremely efficient. And it's going to try to make sure that it's efficient as possible. And if it realizes that it's holding on to something that's making it less efficient, it will eventually get rid of it. And so the question that I have for you is this. Would you want a thief to break into your house tonight and then stay there rent free forever? Would you? I don't think you would. You'd want to like, like get them out as quick as you possibly could. So if you wouldn't want a thief to step into your house and to stay there forever, why would you allow your joy to be stolen from you every single day by the past? Why would you allow your present joy to be stolen from you because you're too stuck up in the past? It's like letting a thief break into your house and stay there rent free forever. You have to learn to do this, to just let go. You got to let go. Take a deep breath and accept (sighs) that event happened. That person died. I screwed up that relationship. You know, I I, I should have gone right when I went left. Whatever it is, you've got to take a deep breath. You've got to let go and you've got to accept Whatever it is that happened, you've got to accept it. And here's the reason why you have to accept it. Because it happened exactly as it should have happened. You can either look at the world in one of two ways. Is that everything in the world is happening to me or everything in the world is happening for me. And if you look at the world as if everything is happening to me, you have a victim mindset, a woe is me mentality oh, that person broke up with me because I'm such a loser. And it's everything's just happening to me. Now, the most successful people and the happiest people in the world look at the world as if the world is happening for them. Everything that happens to them, every single little teeny tiny thing, every event, good or bad, is happening for their own benefit. Right? So I look at the world and I try to look at the world as when something good happens to me, it's happening for me. When something bad happens to me, no matter bad, how bad it is, it's happening for me. What am I supposed to learn from this? The worst thing that could happen to you is that something bad happens and that you don't learn from it at all. 
You have to learn from every single thing that happens to you, good or bad. So if something goes out there and I get a flat tire on the way to driving to go do something, this is happening for me, right? Now, most people are like, oh my God, what was me? I'm about to be at my friend's house. I'm supposed to go do this. We were supposed to go on a trip and my tire is flat. Why is the universe doing this to me? Right? You could look at it that way if you really want to, and that's your prerogative. Or you could say, I just got a flat tire. Maybe the reason why is because I was supposed to get a flat tire because if I wouldn't have gotten a flat tire, there would have been that crazy person that ran the red light and they would have T-boned me and it could have been a tragic accident. I don't know. There's no way to actually know that, but that's the way that I prefer to look at the world. Oh my God, I, I woke up late and I missed my flight. Damn it, why does this always happen to me? Versus, okay, this happened. I missed my flight. Maybe something tragic was, maybe that plane would have crashed. I don't know. But all I know is that it happened. And I believe in my own personal opinion that it happened for me. So I'm going to go, okay, my tire is now popped. It happened for me. Okay. I missed my flight. It happened for me. Okay. That person broke up with me. It happened for me. Okay. That person died. It happened for me. I don't want any of those things to happen. I don't want people to die, but I want to to come from the point of it's happening for me, for my own development, whatever the hell that means. I may, may never be able to extract the lesson, but I'm going to try everything that I can to figure out that lesson could be. And the crazy thing is that some people are still in a bad mood today over something that happened to them 10 years ago. I don't know about you, but that's insane to think about. Some people are still in a bad mood today over something that happened to them 10 years ago. But here's the crazy thing. It's not that thing that happened to them 10 years ago that's making them mad. No, 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 no. It's not the thing that happened to them 10 years ago. What is making them mad is the way they are thinking about that thing that happened to them 10 years ago. That's really what it is. It's not the event. It's their thoughts about the event that are making them feel the way that they feel. It's not the event. The event happened. It happened 10 years ago. Done. Nothing they can do about it. Why would that event still be creeping up into their present moment? Because they're still thinking about the way that you think about something in this present moment. If you think that something happened to you and you're still mad about it, it's like carrying that backpack and going, you know what? Today I'm going to wake up and I'm going to put on the, I'm still a victim of that thing that happened to me 10 years ago backpack. And it's going to weigh me down. And you know what? I choose choose to wear it because that's the truth. We're not a victim of what happened. We're choosing to still be a victim of our thoughts of what happened to us in the past. So it's not what actually happened. It's how you feel about what happened. And it, you could say, oh, but it, was, it wasn't it was just an event. It was somebody that did this to me. I'm still pissed off about that person who cheated on me, that person who you know, was my ex that, is, that didn't take care of our children or did this or they, they whatever it was. You know, in the, the, uh, it's like the Mark Twain quote where he says, anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than onto anything in which it is poured. So it's like having anger inside of you over something that happened in the past is like holding on to acid because it's, it's literally eating you up inside, but doing no harm or to anybody else. Like it's doing nothing to anybody else except for to you. It's literally like holding on to acid. It's like, it's like having, holding on to a hot potato and wanting to throw it at somebody, but you just decide to hold on to it forever. You're literally just injuring and hurting yourself. It's time to stop carrying it around. Let go, let go, let go, get over it. There's nothing you can do. The only thing that you can do is get past it. Well, I guess there's two things you could do. You could either get past it or you could just, you know, be pissed off about it for the rest of your life. Which one do you want? It's your choice. It's no one else's choice. It's your choice. You either get over it or you stay in the woe and me is me mentality. There's, there's really nothing else that could be done, but you get to choose which one you want. If you want to stay in your victim mindset and the woe is me mentality, stay there, stay there forever. That's your choice. But if you're like, you know what? I'm tired of playing the victim. I'm ready to go ahead and move on with my life. Now it's time to move on. Once again, guys, don't cheat on your future with your past. It's the backpack. Let go of the backpack. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Take a few deep breaths and accept it happened. There's nothing that you can do about it. Have gratitude for that past and the way it happened. 
Don't wish for it to be different because it can't be different. Have gratitude because ultimately what it comes down to is this full acceptance for the past, for the present, for the future, for everything that has happened to you and everything that will continue to happen to you. It's full acceptance. And once again, you have two ways to look at the world. One is that everything is happening to me. And the, everything is, the other way is that everything is happening for me. One is a victim mindset. One is a champion's mindset. Here's the beautiful thing about life. It's your choice. It's your choice. It always has been. Has been it always has been. And it always will be. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. The issue is not that you're overthinking. The issue is what you are thinking about.